testosterone plus primobolin. This is something that I see out there more commonly. All these testosterone plus combination regimens out there. Absolutely amazing. So this is something I want to bring to everyone's attention. I'm seeing it more and more and more. I think Prima Bowen right now, this is November, December of 2022, and I'm seeing more testosterone with Primo versus Deca versus Anavar. This is the number one seat right now. So I want to bring this to everyone's attention and I want to bring the good, the positives, and I want to talk about the negatives, the adverse stuff. And as I run through the adverse stuff, I'm going to really tell you what I see based on case studies because I started seeing this about a year and a half ago and now in my mind, I've seen probably 50 guys or more where they come to me just strictly on this and they just want me my opinion and for me to help manage them and take care of them. So I know all about the basics of what's going on from the health standpoint. So here we go. Prima Bolin is old school, mainly injectable, DHT derived steroid, classic back in the day for bodybuilding, for mainly cutting and getting ready for the shows and just kind of putting on lean tissue. But it's also used for bulking with steroids and heavy duty doses of testosterone, test and primo. You know, back in the day, that was a great combination. Now it's tough because it's counterfeited and you don't really know where you're getting Primo and the quality of it. But I could tell you that right now, testosterone and Primo Bolin just itself, that combo, because I think the other combos are just not sustainable. This is something that guys come into me. They're on it for a long time. And I want to talk about that. So it's kind of sustainable. But again, this is always a warning for guys that aren't on steroids that are not on TRT or even guys that are on TRT, there's going to be consequences, but it is what it is. So this is something that I'm seeing more and more, and I have to bring it to you guys. Is That's what I do, being on the cutting edge, the real medical edge clinically of what I see as the anabolic doc in my medical practice. So the pluses and the minuses. Let's start off with the pluses first, guys. Lean muscle tissue. There's if no you're watching this video, I'm sure you're concerned for your testosterone levels. In addition to testosterone, you want to check sexual binding globulin, estradiol, free androgen index, and potentially cortisol. That's where I want to talk about today's sponsor. Let's get checked. They're a worldwide leader in at-home test kits, so you can get a comprehensive look at your testosterone levels and other labs without even leaving your home. You can order a test kit that will be delivered to you in discreet packaging. Once your sample arrives in the laboratory, confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five business days. These results are reviewed by a clinician and a member of the Let's Get Checked nursing team may call you to review your results. Let's Get Checked Laboratories are CLIA approved and CAP accredited, which are the highest ranking levels of accreditation for labs. So if you want to test your hormone levels without having to leave your home, visit trylgc.com. Let's start off with the pluses first, guys. Lean muscle tissue. There's no question that on top of testosterone, adding some Prima Bolin, we'll talk about the doses in the end, is, gonna, is good quality lean muscle, but not much. It's not a massive steroid. It's actually technically less anabolic and androgenic than testosterone, but it, this, is a, this is a testosterone plus series, right? It's kind of one of these. So it's lean muscle that's gonna be given. So guys wanna add a little lean muscle on top of testosterone, boom, test in primo. Now, why is it lean? Well, it's not an estrogenic steroid, right? So let's go back. You could see the video that I did on Prima Bowen by itself. Check out that video with all the science. So it's not estrogenic. And it's really interesting right now that some guys talk about the science that it's actually kind of like Proviron or Masteron where it's anti 
estrogenic. And I gotta really get my head around that because they're talking about scientifically that prima bolin with testosterone is a competitive inhibitor of the aromatase enzyme, the aromatase enzyme. So it's like an aromatase inhibitor that it's competing for the for those those targets on the aromatase enzyme. So it's block like an AI. But I can tell you that I've checked so many blood samples of guys on test in Primo by itself that they still can have aromatization. Now, is it because they're on tons of testosterone and the ratios are just not right? Or they, they're not on Primo, they're not getting Primo? You know, this is this would be an amazing study. Take testosterone, check to see how much a guy aromatizes, try to get a standard. Add Prima Bolin and see, does it actually block like an aromatase inhibitor? This would be a fascinating study. So it, it's not estrogenic, but does it block the aromatization of the testosterone that you're on? Guys talk very, very loosely about that. Some guys do this day and age more and more. And I'm just like, I don't know if that's real science. But we know it's not estrogenic, so it, it's potentially not going to make it worse, your aromatization. So that's why it builds lean muscle. Next, it increases the free testosterone because what it does to the section one binding globulin. This is something that no one's going to argue. I definitely agree with that. Anabolic steroids, sometimes you consider oral steroids more powerful for what it does to the sexual wing binding globulin. Testosterone itself will lower sexual wing binding globulin as well. And when you see that on the lab, and we assume in the actual human in the blood sample, you're gonna get a disparity between total and the increase in the free testosterone. So those are with esters. Those are with testosterone esters. It's kind of beyond the scale today, but I have to bring up this stuff, guys, because I just, Think about this, and I see it all the time. So increase in free testosterone because you're adding another steroid, the effects on the sexual wing binding globulin and on the real chemistry. So no one's going to argue that. Now, what does it do on the positive side? This is where guys tell me they're adding Primo small. This is all small dose stuff, guys. I'm going to go into the doses in the end a little bit. But they're adding it, and they get a CNS effect. So increase in sex, mood, and energy. Okay, they just add a little baby dose of Primo on, feel a little harder, get a little stronger, and they feel it's sustainable because I've seen some guys on, really kind of on and off this for years. This is, I'm letting the secret out, guys. But again, these are super on point guys, super healthy guys, and they're super vigilant about their health. I'm just telling, I'm being honest with you guys about this. This is the whole new world now, super vigilant. That's why the Anabolic Doc app is here. You guys can be vigilant with me and I could show you how to do those ABCDs and take care of uh, your, your health if you're on steroids. This is a whole new world now, guys. That's the warning I give you guys. So are the effects of the central nervous system, the sex, the mood, the energy, it's not tangible, right? It's not a blood pressure. It's not a lipid. It's not a heart measurement, right, of the left ventricle. It's not a calcium score. Is that sustainable? And is it really from the primo? This is very subjective. And when you start it, it seems like you start something, another steroid, so many circumstances, sex goes up, mood goes up. Is it placebo or is it really true? And then is there a wear off effect where the guy just, it wears off and now he's actually worse and he's, he's moody and he's tired and, and so many circumstances, the sex becomes numb and th then the TRT is not working like it did because of something that you did. Now that gentleman is gonna come back to these ratios, not to mention DHT, stimulation on the limbic brain with the estrogen, not to mention the free testosterone on your limbic, your animal sexual brain. So I have to go into this guys because this is just phenomenal man per man stuff. So the last part in this is the positive stuff. There's no question it's limited. Uh, in toxicity. It's just limited in toxicity. It's been known that way for years. Not giving a blessing on it, guys, but it's just, this is not trend. 
It's not Anadrol or Dianabol. So the blood pressure, lipid, and the prostate effects. Now, it's not perfect. So let's move over now as I end on these lean muscle and the CNS effects and the fact that it can be sustainable for a lot of guys for X amount of time. How long, we don't know. Now we have to move over to the end and it's limited in danger potentially. And that's why it's a number one add-on to testosterone. So it's sustainable potentially. So you move over here and we go from head to toe. Here we go. So if you don't like losing hair, you better be careful with any DHT derived drugs. No one's gonna argue it. We use DHT blockers for just guys that are not even on uh, outside source or exogenous source of androgens, finasteride, and then that's got finasteride syndrome. Check out finasteride, post-finasteride syndrome. That's a, kind of a rare, very rare. A lot of men can tolerate finasteride, even natty guys, just with their what their testicle produces with testosterone. But I tell you, I see it all the time that some guys can't, and it's so subjective. So the hair, can you use DHT blockers with this classic combination? And what level of DHT conversion? What post products and what metabolites of DHT? Because it's not just straight DHT. When you look at the nandrolone drugs, the DHT derived, the testosterone derived drugs, there is a stepwise. There's this amazing chemical milieu. I'm not an organic biologic chemist, but I could tell you. The, 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 it's never static. These, these chemistries are changing and they're interacting with your brain, your muscle, your heart, your coagulation system. So the hair, this is definitely a deal killer. Guys are going to add Masteron, Anivar, Primo on top of testosterone, which guys lose their hair. So the hair. So again, is that a deal killer for you? If you're bald and you look great with just your head sh super short, but this is not an issue. Next, I go right into the heart. Again, coming down from the negative side, it's, I've seen on thousands of guys with this type of combination, less effects on the blood pressure and the lipids. But however, there will be effects. Again, you don't even know, unfortunately you can't really know your quality of the Primo. I know some of you guys think you get the best quality stuff, then it turns out that it's not the best quality. It is what it is. Intravascular edema is the most common reason why steroid users and testosterone increase blood pressure. The in increase in the blood volume itself, not, not the erythrocytotic side, but the pressure, the hydraulics of it. That's intravascular edema. And then there's a vasoconstrictive aspect. That's, that's the, how blood pressure goes up, edema and vasoconstriction. Mechanism through the renin angiotensinogen aldosterone system. So you, you, that's the heart. So it, it, it's something that I've seen on the labs and the vital signs, adding some primo, a little primo to testosterone is not very significantly adverse on this, but you got to be careful. Next, the androgen induced erythrocytosis, the red blood cells. This is varied effects with testosterone because testosterone itself can cause that increase in the red blood cells. You have to monitor the CBC and the iron studies. This is something that I do all the time on the Anabolic Doc app. You can actually get your CBC and the iron studies without a doctor's prescription, and you can come to the meetings, you can access information to know how to deal with the increase in red blood cells. It's called androgen-induced erythrocytosis. That happens from testosterone itself. You add Primo, Definitely Primo is not like a DECA or an equipoise when, it, when you're looking at the increased stimulatory effects of red blood cells. However, however, if your genes are that, or you're overweight with sleep apnea, and if you have genes for this, you're, you're, you're gonna have a tough time on testosterone. You add any drug, any androgen at all, it's not gonna make it better. It's not like over here where you have this blocking effect of the estrogen, okay? This is something you have to be careful. And then when you move from this, the, this, the red blood cell effects, you have to go for the venous thromboembolism stuff. That's VTE, that's DVTs and pulmonary embolisms. Again, this is just a big question mark because 
That's an anabolic androgenic steroid, however, lightly versus testosterone or tran or all other androgenol, d ball. But it, it can cause hypercoagulable states. So that's the blood clot. And I, I see this, guys. It's just rare, but I see it. So what do you do to protect against that? Well, get a history. You got to know your genetics. If you have a family history of this stuff, if you have factor five, or protein C or S or one of these things, or you know, there's some gene mutations, prothrombin gene mutation. If you have this stuff, you're just looking for a problem just by getting on a plane for the most part. Forget testosterone and Primo. So, you know, maybe take aspirin where you're going to just go on Lovenox or just live, live on an anticoagulant medication, which I see some guys getting everything off the internet. No, no, you can't do that. You have to come to the app and you have to interface with me in the meetings and ask these questions. So, Again, these are the standard risks of steroids. Does it happen more when you're on Primo? It definitely can. Prostate is the end of the dose. It's a DHT-related steroid. If you look and look at your data, testosterone itself, supplementation doesn't increase the inherent risk of just across the board of the man's ability to potentially have prostate cancer. It's multifactorial. As you get older, that's, that's a risk right there. Family history is a risk. But if uh, you have a prostate cancer and you're on just testosterone, that could grow that. I've seen it. You, you, you have to monitor for that with, with digirectal examinations, good urology doctors, and of course the PSA. And you can order this on the Anabolic Doc app. So when you look for a DHT derived drug, that's going to be, and again, I know that it has post cursors that may be weaker than DHT itself, but it's, it's so complicated. The potential for affecting the growth and getting BPH in a large prostate, which is just not to mention from uncomfortable to dangerous with septic, with urinary obstruction, and then you can be, you can get uh, urinary septic uh, because you're, you can't pee and you get a urinary tract infection. And if you're an older man, which we see this in the hospital, that's very deadly stuff. So we use uh, DHT blockers for typically older men that can't pee and we have to open up their prostates and we have to maintain those prostates to be open. Instead of removing them, you just don't remove the prostate. But the sex drive is going to be affected. But you have to weigh these things out. So the prostate with DHT derived drug, that's a concern long term. The dose, guys, the dose is it's greater. So the dose is going to be for this ratio here. So guys will be almost one to one, but it's really not one to one. It's it's a little more testosterone. So maybe one fifty of testosterone to like a hundred of Primo. That's what they're doing. You don't use much more than that. That's you're overkill anyway, and you just want to keep all this stuff down to a down low. Hope you guys really like this. I want comments. I want this video to be huge in the world because I know this is going on huge and it's not going anywhere. And I want you guys to access me with the Anabolic Doc app. Thank you so much. I hope this helps you guys.